Okay, so now we're all ready to calculate our summary statistics. We're going to calculate the expected number of species via this formula and the completeness of the inventory via this one. Then we will save our worksheet and our uh, data file and we'll import it into QGIS for visualization. So here we go. We can create a column for expected number of species. And that's going to be equal to the observed number plus the square of the singletons divided by two times the number of doubletons. And you can see that that's going to be undefined whenever there are no doubletons. And we can extend that formula down. And then we can calculate our index of completeness as the ratio between observed and expected. And again, we can extend that down. And again, you can see that a number of those are not defined. But we also have a number that are defined. So this is a statement, for example, that this inventory is projected to be 47% complete. So that's our uh, final calculations in Excel. We can save our workbook. And then, most importantly, we can uh, export this for analysis in QGIS. The one thing I'm going to do is to put the ones that are not defined, I'm going to get rid of them uh, simply because they won't be visible and they may confuse the GIS system. So I'm going to get rid of those completely. And now I want to export this table as a CSV file. And now we can go over to QGIS. Sorry. We go over to QGIS. We import that file as a table, as a table only. Notice that we're going to say no geometry. And there we have our table. And then we want to link the grid ID in that table to the grid ID of our half degree grid. So we're going to go into the half degree grid. We're going to go to joins, add a join. We're going to specify that table. And there are the two fields. This one is the field in this file. And this one is in the uh, half degree grid. That's just how I want it. OK, and now we can visualize by the values of those, for example, the completeness indices. I can specify a ramp, and I can say to classify, let's do this. There we go. And there you have a map of the degree of knowledge uh, in terms of completeness. So that is that essentially gets us up to a view of inventory quality.